There's a new villain coming to season five of Riverdale. Here's everything we know. I'm Perez Hilton. I'm Gabby Conti, and this is Live with Perez Hilton. Yes, Riverdale has had its share of unexpected villains, from board game controlling monsters to organ harvesting cult leaders, and now it looks like season five's villain could be the strangest one yet. According to new shots from the show, it looks like there is a demon truck that will be terrorizing the core four. Showrunner Roberto Aguar Sasa teased the new villain on his Instagram page with a creepy photo of a giant truck with a skeleton on the grill. He captioned this shot, quote, beware the lonely highway and the truck that crushes its byways at night. Also keep in mind, there was a shot of the truck chasing a woman when Roberto first announced season five was back in production on his Instagram just a couple of months ago. Reddit users already have theories about this truck villain. Some fans think the new season will have a killer truck with a mind of its own since murderous vehicles are a horror trope, a genre that the show loves to play around with. I hope it's not the truck. I hope there's somebody driving the truck. I just hate that whole genre of film where the villain is not a person. Mm -hmm. So whether it be a truck or whether it be a tsunami or a weather movie, I hate weather movies. <laughs> How are you rooting against an avalanche or whatever? Like yeah. I'd rather root against an evil, nasty person that's doing evil, nasty things. So hopefully when we uh, find out more about the upcoming season, there's more to the truck than just some evil, truck because that's stupid. Yeah, because I think we need an evil truck driver yes. behind it too, like a masked truck driver. I mean, I remember the first season of Riverdale, it was a big whodunit uh, thing, which I think made the show a monster hit that it is today. So I feel like we do need that. I feel like there needs to be, what's the motive? Who is it? Is it someone that we actually know from the show? Um, I think that would definitely make it a lot more interesting. I do have some tea about the cast Oh, of do you? Let's hear it. I know that they're all very frustrated right now because the show films in Canada, if you did not know that. And because of this pandemic that we're still in, they can't be going back and forth between mm -hmm. Canada and the United States, which they used to do all the time. Yep. So the cast is stuck in Canada and not very happy about it, but they are making the most of their time there. In fact, one of the co-stars of Riverdale, Vanessa Morgan, is pregnant with her first child. And if you don't know, also recently went through a very public and bitter split from her husband, the father of her soon to be born baby. Uh, they were married a matter of months and then they announced that they were getting divorced and that she's pregnant as well. It was lovely to see her female co-stars help celebrate Vanessa's baby with a little baby shower up there in Canada. Mm -hmm. So um, it'll be an interesting time for everybody because what I do know is if you have unhappy actors, yeah. that often will manifest itself on set. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't even be shocked if this ends up being the last season of Riverdale. Ooh, that is possible. The show was supposed to go on for seven seasons. Uh, apparently KJ Appa had leaked that information that there was some co contract for seven seasons. But I could see, see that, especially how the fifth season is like a combination of the fourth and the fifth and they're doing this big time jump and so the time jump too makes me think about like how much longer can they go with the time jump and with the unhappy cast members i also just worry about vanessa morgan being this pregnant and working uh, how she's dealing with it and then lily reinhardt is someone who openly spoke about how she does feel like a prisoner because she can't leave also her ex cole sprouse she's not only working with every day but seeing him all the time and he apparently has moved on with a model so oh. yeah so all of that he has like Juicy. he's a Photographer also, his Instagram account is all these photos that he takes, and his muse is this girl that he was also linked to seeing, hugging, and getting cozy with. Well, so he was linked with Kaya Gerber. For, oh yeah, for a and bit now well, too. no, Kaya and Jacob Elordi are Instagram officials, oh, so I that is that. off the market Your for Halloween him. Their Halloween costume was a little creepy for me <laughs> because they went as Elvis Presley and Priscilla Presley, but. She went as child bride, Priscilla. Oh, well, no, because they got married in the 60s, Priscilla and Elvis. Yeah, but they started dating when she was a minor. That is okay? true, that is true. Well, she did was, say- She wasn't a bride, she wasn't wearing her bridal no, costume. No, well, but she but... specifically said that that was them in the 70s, so she wouldn't have been a child, but you're right. But the Priscilla still, and Elvis marriage the is creepy. of it, I did not creepy. like. <laughs> 
Well, guys, our, what do you guys think about season five of Riverdale and this truck villain? Will you be watching? And do you think it's the last season of the show? Let us know your thoughts. I'm Gabby Conti. And I'm Perez Hilton. And follow us at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.